pulled some cards today. Pythagoras, please help me come up with our next prophecy. Vitality, um, growth, planting the seeds, new beginnings, permanency, the sun always rises into a new day. The elder flowers, the sun again. The admiration, a more card. The roads, the crossroads, and the book, the knowledge. And we have this one as well. Oh, we have the eye. Okay, let's pull some more from the roses. Let's see what we get from it. have this child with the sun. The sun is the seed, the beginning. And then we have the youthfulness. When we enter the earth, we are entering as the child. And then we grow. It looks like we grow into the cunning fox there. The cross and the gentleman. Okay, I see what we're getting at here. So we have this These cards I'm going to put all here. Oh, let's go. Actually, we're going to do it like this because I understand what this story is trying to tell us. So we have the sun. We are born into this world underneath the sun. We all grow from the sun. And then we are born as a child into the world. And we as well... Uh, Let's do that. And then we as well um, grow. And when we grow, you know, we are born into this onto this world innocent. We are born into this world innocent. And as we grow up, we some people fall into the fox, the cunning, deceptive, slyness, and corrupted part of the world, the manipulative part of the world. And these people usually end up meeting their crossroads and their knowledge. That's when they learn the truth, is that all eyes were on them this whole time, and they were being watched by heaven itself. And they um, have two choices, either. With this manipulation card, they're very manipulative, and they will meet their crossroads and learn something. Otherwise, we have this gentlemen here. It seems that the way of the world at this time is uh, its not very fun, is it? So you can either enter into this deceptiveness and give in to the corruption and treachery, and you meet your crossroads and hopefully learn something. 
Otherwise, if you don't, you grow into this gentleman right here and you suffer in this world that we have here. It's a suffering world. And uh, these two choices that we have made are always being watched constantly through our own eyes. That is how heaven watches us, through our own eyes. Sometimes they can't see down as far on earth, so they watch us through our eyes. That is, we are connected to them through that. And so we either enter into this um, cunning fox spirit. Either way, when we hit these crossroads, this tower moment, we have that lesson is there available for us to learn. Some people learn it, some people don't. They refuse, they're in denial. But at the end of the day, this is that lesson is there, ready, in, ready to be taken and learned. It's still there for them. They still reach that pivotal, justified moment in their life. So if you don't choose this cunning fox spirit, you end up being the gentleman, the suffering gentleman. But this gentleman is looked on by a more. It's looked on with admiration by this, by heaven. These are the people that get into heaven. Um, they get into heaven through the sun again and through the elder card we have here, the lily card. Um, so, you know, this is, they end up being the happiest in the end by choosing the gentleman path. You always end up being the happiest in the end and you end up becoming into the elder, into heaven, into the great watchful eye is proud of people like this. The watchful eye looks upon people like this with admiration. And they get into heaven and because their heart is filled with love. Their heart is filled with love. And as for this deceptive fox, he goes into his crossroads, his moment of no turning back, of realization. They always do come to that realization. They can't escape this eight of, ace of clubs here. They will always come into this crossroad moment. And they are either going to learn or not learn, but we do have this 22 number here, so eventually they learn to follow their heart and to bring back into their heart. Because if not, you know... The eye is always watching, and there will be no past. Your completion of everything you've done, this 49 number, 4 is past or no, 9 is completion. So there would be no completion, you know, no completion in this past, and it will come to a final end, you know. It would finally be complete um, when they get into this crossroads and learning moment. They, that is when that they will finally be complete and that means deleted so we do have this setup here so that looks just like what our story is here today it is the it's the story of the crossroads the story of the two directions that people take in life either you can give in to the corruption and learn your lesson or you can become the gentleman and grow so we have the moon there for the deceptive fox, and then we have the roses for the gentleman that chooses this path and is looked upon with admiration and receives his home and his abode in heaven in a new, under a new sunny, sunny sky. So we have this right here. Um, you know, so for everyone out there, this is your two paths. You can either enter into this manipulative energy and receive your crossroads, that pivotal moment in your life where you understand that what you are doing to yourself and to others around you, and you learn your lesson. If you don't learn your lesson, then as you can see, the moon is underneath. It goes right back down into earth to receive its karmic justice. It goes right back down into the earth to receive its karmic justice and to try again. And if it chooses this path again, then it obviously receives that ultimate death. Um, yeah, so we have the quarrels and arguments again here. So they, this is what happens to people like that. They end up just fighting and constantly fighting over each other and fighting with each other. And, you know, not looking at where they're going, showing off here. Just, you know, charging in like they're the naive... <laughs> man of the storm you know then we have this one who's actually trying here in his second life he's lifting his wand up carefully in between and he's trying to 
make it up to the top to where the stars are in heaven here. You know, he's looking up there. And then we also have the one over here who is looking behind him, you know, very paranoid, um, very worried about what, you know, his stick falling backwards, unbalanced right there. So that's where these deceptive fox energies end up leading into in their second lives when they come back down into Earth again. They usually end up fighting over each other like this. So that looks like our story there. Okay, bye-bye.